The following program is brought to you by the Education and Research Foundation of the American Society of Radiologic Technologists and by the Summit on Radiologic Sciences and Sonography, the American College of Radiology, and the American Society for Therapeutic Radiology and Oncology. is Stephanie Edgerton. She's just arrived for another day of clinical experience in the hospital. She's working towards a Bachelor of Science degree in sonography. Mr. Heap, right this way. Today she'll help determine what's wrong with this man's heart by producing images of it. Feeling sick and dizzy. Oh, oh I think I'm going to pass out. Pat. 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 These students are working towards an associate degree in radiography. They're learning the ABCs of emergency care with a robot that can simulate the human physiological reactions associated with such events as a coronary heart attack or an allergic reaction to medication. Dion Lam started his college education in pharmacy, but was intrigued by the technology and patient interaction in the field of nuclear medicine. He is currently in a Bachelor of Science program and spends half of his time at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute learning to produce remarkable 3D images of the human body. And this is Kathleen Tram, who goes by the name Cat. She's on her way to the Long Beach Memorial Hospital to work on the skills she'll need as a radiation therapist. She's in her second year of a Bachelor of Science program, and once she's finished, she'll be helping patients in their right. fight against cancer. Table in. Turn your head. All of these students have several things in common. First, they are interested in healthcare, and they're intrigued by new technologies. Second, they have a deep desire to help people. Third, they have discovered a career that is in very high demand. And fourth, when they graduate, they will all become critical members of the healthcare team who have the knowledge and skills needed to perform diagnostic imaging examinations and deliver radiation therapy treatments. They'll be working in emergency rooms, surgical suites, hospital radiology departments, prenatal clinics, and in outpatient service centers. Their knowledge enables them to operate increasingly sophisticated equipment, such as a CT scanner, which creates images of the soft tissue in the body with amazing clarity. Or the PET camera, which stands for Positron Emission Tomography, a technology that, among other things, allows the physician to evaluate the activity of cancer cells in the body. But as we'll see, their most important skill is the ability to communicate with other healthcare professionals, and especially with the patients who may be fighting cancer struggling with coronary disease, or awaiting and hoping for the birth of a brand new, healthy baby. In this career encounter, we'll meet some of the students who have chosen radiologic technology for their life's work and explore the educational options in the following professions. Radiography, sonography, nuclear medicine, and radiation therapy. <laughs> 